In September 2022, Annie, known as Annie in Event Land, sparked a discussion on safe sleeping practices for infants in Denmark. She revealed that she, like many Danish parents, allowed her six-month-old baby girl to nap alone outside in a stroller. This practice, though controversial to some, is culturally accepted and even recommended by midwives and baby nurses in Denmark. Annie highlighted the belief in Denmark that fresh air contributes to a baby's overall health and improves sleep quality. She explained that babies in Denmark are dressed in lightweight wool clothing and often sleep with a downed of it to regulate body temperature and ensure comfort, regardless of the weather. The safety and practicality of this practice compared to traditional sleeping arrangements for infants. The mother stood firm in her defense of the practice, highlighting that concerns about kidnapping were not prevalent in Denmark. She explained that it was customary for parents to leave their babies napping outside while they attended to errands or relaxed in a cafe. To ensure their baby's safety, Danish parents typically kept a vigilant watch or utilized baby monitors placed in the stroller. Annie underscored the minimal risk of baby abductions in Denmark, attributing it to societal norms and the robust support provided by the healthcare system. She elaborated that in Denmark, individuals were generally hesitant to assume responsibility for someone else's child, especially given the accessibility of the healthcare system, which facilitated parenthood at minimal expense. Additionally, Annie shared that she often allowed her baby to nap outside even when they were at home, believing it offered the benefits of fresh air and maintained a familiar sleeping environment for her child. She valued the freedom it afforded her family, enabling them to venture out without being tethered to their home while her baby slept. Despite Annie's rationale and the perceived advantages of outdoor napping, many parents voiced their disagreement. One expressed, I would. Never, while another remarked, you can never do this in America, we can't even go grocery shopping alone. Isn't that incredible? In our country, we'd be facing jail time if we attempted something like this, remarked. America could never pull it off, observed a fourth netizen. I get it if it's on your private balcony, but people just leave them out on the street in front of their houses, pondered a fifth. Yes or sometimes in their courtyards as well," responded Annie. Annie's detailing her adventures in Denmark. As a parent of four, she provides glimpses into her daily life, offering insights into both weekdays and weekends. Through her content, Annie warmly invites her followers to immerse themselves in the rich tapestry of Danish traditions and celebrations, presenting a fulfilling life as a content creator. In September 2023, Annie reflecting on her astonishment at the freedom she found in Denmark. From her balcony, she marveled at discovering her youngest daughter sound asleep in her stroller while she tackled household chores. Annie hesitated to bring the baby inside, worried it might wake her. Instead, she opted to keep her outside, ensuring her safety and peace by placing her just a few steps away. Annie expressed her surprise at being able to leave her baby outdoors without worry. She gently showed her sleeping baby girl, snug beneath a pink blanket. Swiveling the camera towards herself, Annie voiced her appreciation for being able to manage her tasks without disturbing her baby's sleep. My little one can nap undisturbed while I handle my chores. She marveled, ending with a mind-blown emoji to convey her amazement.